Whether you are a beginner designer or a world class musician and often get embarrassed to see the old work, then you are not alone. We can all relate it in some way or another. In this video, I am going to talk about how does it feel to be a designer or an artist. Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day to be alive. My name is Osman Javed and I have been working in a design field since quite some time now and I consider it more of a passion than a profession. This is the question I have had in my mind even before I became a designer so I thought to answer the question in this video. Before jumping ahead, if you are not a graphic designer and looking forward to build a career for you, click on the card to know more if the design career is right for you. First of all, to be a graphic designer is pretty easy, all you need just just a little bit of creativity and kickstart a couple of small projects and keep on improving. Yes, the word improve has much more importance in a creative field than inspiration. It all starts with inspiration. You don't only get the digital inspiration from Google, Behance or Pinterest. However, your eyes will evolve over time and the real world will start looking different to you too. The trees, the moon, the pollution and even your dreams will bring out the best when you need. You sometimes get no choice but to wake up and draw what you just saw or maybe forget in the morning. And this has become a part of me every second day. No matter how good or bad you can speak to the clients, things will always get messy and you have to be patient enough to avoid the situation or the client themselves. Yes, I have said no to a lot of clients in my career and that's okay to say no in advance if you don't feel like doing it, instead of working on a miserable project which can cost you time and resources. You often become better at creating short words or phrases from the huge descriptions or briefs from the clients. And sometimes clients pretend they're busy and oftentimes do not provide enough details about what they need. After getting the experience now, I usually squeeze out every possible detail from them and create short words before starting off a design project. That always helps me get a direction before sketching. Ok, now you got the project and start sketching out really cool stuff on the paper. Mmm, it didn't go well. Sketch again. Nah, sketch again. No, pss, again and again. And the process will go on until you get a good design. Or maybe your deadline is near. Or maybe you have had enough with the trash bins. Yes, the situation may change according to our work and state of mind. Sometimes things get too slow to come up with a good design, but sometimes a few strokes can give you a very powerful design. Remember, if the plan A fails, there are 25 more letters to follow. Ok, now the project is done and delivered to the client and if he gets excited, then trust me, there is nothing beyond which can make a designer's day. Then you start working on another project and this goes on and on and on. But after a couple of years or months on practicing your designs, you will often get embarrassed to see the past work. Happens with me every time when I look at my previous work or maybe you cringe and you don't even want to look at the past work. Solution is simple to avoid the embarrassment. Just laugh hard at your past designs and take proud in the constant improvement you have made. Always try to give the 100% to the designs since they have the power to instantly catch a user's eye even if the actual product sucks a big time. Finally, having the client excited about the work you have done is just the greatest source of satisfaction. The same level of satisfaction when you subscribe to my channel and like the video. Peace.